you know, this wasn't really on my radar. Right. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't, uh, it, it was real estate. How, how <laughs> it was real estate. They really got me into it. Okay. Um, so, you know, had a bunch of rentals, um, and a guy, it was a Facebook post from another realtor that I knew that they were looking for a rent house and I had a rent house and I, and I contacted her and I said, Hey, I've got a rent house. If you want, if you want to take your client over there. And she was like, yeah, absolutely. So I meet him over there. This guy had moved in from California. He was a Oklahoma guy and their family's here. And so he moved back in and um, moved in to uh, Emily and I's first home that I kept for a mm-hmm. rental. And we got to talking and he was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm selling cars right now. And I always collected rent in person. And I still do it. And the one rental I have left here, yeah. I still go by in person and collect rent. I just, I've always been like that. So we got to know each other over me just collecting rent. And I said, you know, he's like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Really liked him. I said, why don't you, why don't you come sell real estate for me? And he was like, Okay, and I, he, I guess he tried to give it a shot a little bit, and then decided, hey, this is this is a lot harder than it looks, and so yeah, it is, and so he joined my team. Um, shoot, it was two thousand. It was right. It was it was right after Natalie, or right when Natalie was born. So it was nine years ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so he he worked for me about a year and a half. It was Austin. Um, and you know he he one day called me as like hey I'm I'm gonna move to Colorado with my wife and I was like dude that's awesome you know yeah good luck to you and I, you know he worked for me for a year and a half did did well and then fast forward like four years uh, we had talked one other time for he had sent me a referral um, like one of his aunts or something and then four years later calls me literally when 788 passed mm-hmm. and. Um, for another real estate referral and I was like what you know I haven't talked to you in a while yeah you know what are you what are you doing now and he was like well I just he didn't know this about me but I've been growing marijuana pretty much my whole adult life and I was like what <laughs> and I was like you sit next to me in an office <laughs> for a year and a half and you never told me yeah and he was like no I just never I don't talk about it he's yeah. he's he's OG he's uh you know that that world was is very quiet world yeah um you know obviously now it's legal and people talk more about it but he was up in Santa Cruz growing. He he learned how to grow out in California. Mm-hmm. Uh, always wanted to trace the the legal market. He you know he was always you know always one didn't want to go to jail. So he yeah, you know yeah, he'd yeah. learned just from guys out there and stayed out there for quite a while. I think he was out there for nine or ten years. And then he you know he's like that's why I moved back to Colorado because he was like I was burnt out. Mm-hmm. And so. I missed it. That's why we moved to Colorado. He he went and bought uh, four dispensaries and twenty five thousand square feet in in Denver with him and his buddy that is another grower. So I was I was like no kidding. I was like that, yeah. that's that's crazy. I was like well I'm glad you're telling me this now because another one of my clients was they wanted me to invest in some dispensaries that they had mm-hmm. that they were going to open. I was like I'm going to an investor meeting the day that I, it was a Wednesday. I'll never forget. Yeah. It. I was like I'm going to an investor meeting tonight. I want to call and pick your brain after after these guys talk. And he was like yeah absolutely. So we go to this meeting, and I, and I was like, oh, whatever. I, I didn't really kind of like what they, they were saying. And so I called him. I said, do you want to come home and do this? And he said, absolutely. We just had a baby. Oklahoma needs this. I've been waiting for Oklahoma to be legal for my whole life. And he said, absolutely. So I jump on a plane on Friday morning, that, that Friday morning, to go look at his operation in Colorado. I walk in. It's the first marijuana grow I've ever been in. And I was like, all right, you clearly know what you're doing. And he was like, yeah, he's like, I'm, I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> so, so we just, I was like, all right, well, you, let's figure out a way to get you back home to do this. Yeah. And, you know, me being in real estate for 11, 12 years, I was like, I'm, I'm not changing jobs. I mean, it's just not what I'm going to do. Right. I got a pretty good life, you know, making great money, playing golf, you know, working 20 yeah. hours a week. It's not a job <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Um, so he, he, uh, we start talking, we start having meetings, and, and I'm just like, what are we going to do? Like, how are we going to do this? So I was, let's mirror what you have out there, right. and I'll let you run it, and I'm, I'm just going to invest. I'll get, the, I'll get the money together. I'll get four or five guys, and we can figure this out. So, 
you know, we start start figuring out, have meeting after meeting after meeting, and I'm just like, man, and I was like, this is starting to. And, and my wife Emily, you know, she's she's helping me through this. She's way smarter than me. She's what, what was her thoughts on this when you first approached her and said, hey, you remember that guy who used to work for me? Well, she was like, yeah, go check it out. Yeah, because I mean, I'm always, you know, she she would always make fun of me because I've got that entrepreneur spirit. We're the same thing. We're yeah. always looking at something. Yeah, different. just trying yeah, to figure yeah. something out and make yeah. more money. And um, she's like, yeah, just go check it out. So we go check it out. And then fast forward, you know, we're kind of in the middle of this. And, and then I'm talking to David, um, my COO. You know, our kids are in class together and we're at we're hit at his son's birthday because, you yeah, know, that's what we do. And as parents, we go to yeah. birthdays. So we're talking about, I'm like, hey, dude, like we've got this cannabis down. He's, he was the VP of... Um, the VP of operations or VP of franchising for express personnel. So I knew he knew franchising. So I was talking to him. I was like, Hey, when, you know, when, when, or can we franchise this? And he was like, man, it's federally, it's, it's impossible. It's, it's hard. It's going to be very hard. So not to get into too many details, he, he had helped set up another company mm-hmm. um, and we knew they needed a grower and he was like, hey, I'll connect you guys. So we connected, got a big contract uh, f- to be their supplier, their main supplier gotcha. for 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 uh, growing because they were flipping all their stores. So got to talking and we figured out, hey, you know, why don't you come work for us? You know, you've been, you've been at Express for 18 years. You know, I'm like, yeah. hey, what do you, how much of the business do you want? You know, he's he's a London School of I mean, went to yeah. London School of Business, Columbia, smart as a whip, and knows how to start a company uh, to help me. And Austin, Austin obviously knew the plant side. David helps me with the business side, yeah. and I'm the people. You know, and I, yeah. I kind of put the people facilitating. Together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's like, "Yeah, let's do it." And so that's why we're sitting in this eighty-five thousand square foot building now. Yeah. Because uh, we knew we had to go bigger. So. Start start raising the money for it. Cause you so you already had the contract at this point. Yeah, we basically had the contract. Yeah, and we're like we through a lot of negotiations, we get this contract. Can't really talk much about well, it. Of course, but at least you have it. Yeah. You know that you have to provide. Yeah, we product we, soon. Or very you're on a timeline. Soon. Yeah, right? yeah, we're yeah, on a timeline. Yeah. We got yeah. a date set out for us to get uh, to market. <clears throat> And one of my big investors, Troy Phillips, is, you know, he's a very, very good friend of mine. And he literally was like, I'll give you this money if you're running this company. Mm-hmm. And that's when I was like, crap. <laughs> this now becomes yeah, a job. I'm like, yeah. all right. So I think I'm I didn't want to happen. So I go home and talk to Emily about it. And I said, you know, he's he's all in, but, you know, he's he's wants me to run the company. He, yeah. I mean, he believes in me to be able to do it. And that's where, I, you know, I just... It never dawned on me, like, hey, you need to go do this. And he gave me that push to where I believe in you. I'm going to give you half a million bucks to to go do this. And I'm like, what? Uh, I was like, (laughs) and Emily was like, well, you're too deep now. So, you know, career change when you're, I was 38 years old. Career change at 38 years old. And I'm like, all right, we're going to do this. And, And then raise the money. And like, I don't know, it took me like a month to raise seven million bucks right you know, because we were so put together everybody knew what we were going to do yeah and that's how it that's how and it the was team they already had it sampled yeah. people like okay we trust yeah. these you know this, yeah. this the team. team it was it, it ended up i mean we we went through some changes and stuff and then but it was david austin uh, myself and drew which is my vp of operations mm-hmm. it was us four that really just all right, we're going to do this. And so we moved yeah. in moved in here in November of 18 and just have been rocking and rolling ever since. But, it, yeah, it was started four guys on skateboards in an empty warehouse. And, and but there was, I mean, there's so many, you know, so many crazy stories that go into how we got here, and, right. you know, and and we've been we've been running for a couple a couple years and. We were looking to raise some more money, um, and we decided that, uh, you know, we were, I think we were going to raise like another four or five million for some for expansion. So we got to talking to a group, and, and we ended up uh, we ended up selling half the company about eight or nine months ago. 
um, for we had eighty eight million dollar valuation, sold half of it for forty four million, mm -hmm. uh, and which is just nuts. I mean, I'm really look back. I'm still back, today back to I'm, talking about seventy five thousand dollars. Yeah, right? and I'm <laughs> like, oh my god, like, but it, it's you know the the grind and the, the the team aspect. I mean, literally, Dave and I were in the in the office. I think it was this morning or it was yesterday. It was this morning. We're kind of restructuring uh, restructuring cultivation right now, and you know he he's saying something and in my brain you know we're kind of slot we're trying to slot money towards a position mm -hmm. and I was like yeah dude it's just like it's just like alright the shortstop gets paid this the second paceman gets paid this and he's like exactly and that's how my brain works yeah. it's just like and it, it's so relatable to business and it's like baseball's a business got to be a business with me running this organization now we're 140 employees it's a team it's it's yeah. you know you you got to build this team and and you got to build a good team around you and and we're one of the few um what i've learned in the last three years in cannabis that right. that have stuck together and we, i mean we literally we we don't have arguments we're like we we talk about things yeah. but it's it's wild it's it's just wild how still after three years we've all changed and we've we've had this conversation we've all changed as human beings it's like three years is a long time you know we've all we've all made some great money off this thing but it's like we've all evolved as human beings but we've still been able to stay together as a, as a group and we all talk to each other and we we communicate and it's it's a wild thing it's it's yeah. just been crazy